today we are tackling two of the most iconic dishes from Friends. We are making the one and the only... I call it the moist maker. And for dessert, we are going to be making... It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. First there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, <laughs> then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions, <laughs> then a little bit more custard, and then bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be making is the moist maker sandwich. So I'm pretty sure it's like bread, and then like mashed potato stuffing, and then he, the, he soaks the middle piece of bread in gravy, which is why I think he calls it the moist maker, right? Because then it's like, it moistens the sandwich. So let's get started. Hey guys, haven't been on the channel in a while, but here we are. I'm here, I'm still alive, I'm kicking. You've been streaming. Get it, get it. Get it. Yeah, I've been streaming. Come and follow me on uh, twitch.tv slash Rosenau. I also started my own YouTube channel. Links there down below. So we start off by toasting three slices of bread. I've got a nice fancy sourdough today. So, obviously two of the pieces are for the outside, and then the third one is the one that we've got to soak. And, oh, the sun is really messing today. We're going to start by putting a little bit of mayonnaise on each side of the outer bread. So luckily I have a bunch of leftovers of turkey and potatoes and stuff so we don't have to make any of that from scratch. But I think it goes, so it goes bread, mayonnaise, then we're gonna sauce a little bit of potato. I have both sweet potato and just regular mashed because one recipe said sweet potato and one recipe said plain potato and I don't think he ever specified exactly which kind of potato. So what's the harm in doing both, am I right? So we've got the sweet potato, mashed potato, mashed potato, sweet potato, so it's like, you know, opposite sides for a variety of flavors. Next, we're gonna go in with the cranberry. Oh, or maybe I was supposed to do the cranberry before. Hi, Bandit. Do you want some moist maker? <gasps> you wanna try the sandwich? I'm sure you do. I was supposed to do the cranberry sauce on top of the mayonnaise, but that's okay. I'll probably We'll just do the cranberry on top so i have some jellied cranberry here my personal favorite type of cranberry i think everybody has their own kind of like favorite type you know either like whole cranberries or like bandit sweetheart now we have a layer of cranberry and then we're gonna go in with the turkey so i have a little of these garden it's like those whole ones and i just cut them into slices beautiful and then last but not least we go in with the stuffing this is gonna be one thick sandwich She's gonna be thick though. It's gonna be like one of those cartoon sandwiches that like I won't be able to fit into my mouth. I'm not really sure how he dipped, like I have some homemade gravy here, how he dipped the entire, like, oh, oh no, it kind of doesn't fit in the pot. But I mean, yeah, so I got a plate. We're gonna see if this is a smart idea. Okay, 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 maybe a little bit more. A little bit like this. Soak in the gravy. Bandit really wants some gravy. On top of these bad boys, we are going to place this. And then, this is definitely not a clean. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Look at that bad boy. It's literally a carton sandwich, it's so huge. I think I way overstuffed it like way too much, but it's kind of beautiful. All right, so I don't even know if I want to attempt to cut it. Okay. No. Well, we gotta commit now, it's already half cut. Some reinforcements. Okay, okay, okay. Just look at the plate right now. Look at that. Okay, first bite. The sourdough adds a nice like twang, I think, to it. Look at all those layers. It's a beautiful sandwich. I just way overstuffed it. All the flavors, immaculate. The cranberry, the sage from the gravy. It's just a little impractical to eat. I don't know why Ross would have brought this to work if this is what it looked like. But in terms of taste, 10 out of 10. You can go wrong stuffing all the delicious flavors into bread because bread is also a delicious flavor. Would I make this again? 10 out of 10, yes. Would I make it like this again? 
10 out of 10 no because I lost half of the sandwich and it's all just like spilling out so just very fine layers of everything but the flavors impeccable so I highly recommend that you make this because it's absolutely delicious and if you have leftovers perfect way to use them all right we are on to part two of the video which is now making Rachel's Thanksgiving trifle so I think we're gonna make one just about this big this is a cute little little bowlsies like I have a huge trifle dish that we use at Christmas for our trifle but I'm very very afraid very very afraid to make a really big one in case it tastes terrible because then it's just a waste of food right so we're gonna go for a mini version today because it's cute it's practical and if it's delicious if this is a revelation in terms of flavor and style then we will make a big one one day. But for today, we're gonna play it safe and we're gonna make a little guy. So Rachel's trifle has lady fingers, strawberry jam, beef sauteed with peas and onions, custard, and whipped cream and bananas, I believe. Honestly, the worst part of that for me is the bananas. On top of all of that, I just feel like the banana is out of line. I feel like banana for me is just like a very sacred thing of like, I either need to eat a banana alone in banana bread or on peanut butter and toast. Other than that, banana has no place. I feel like I was really harsh on bananas there. Bananas, I love you. You have a place in this world and I didn't mean to come for you like that. So the vegan lady fingers that I have made before are just basically like a white cake that you let like dry out a little bit. And that's, that's the lady fingers I made before. So, nobody go snitching on me, but I'm gonna use a little bit leftover of my birthday cake. There's chocolate, which we're not gonna use, but there's vanilla. And it's a couple of days old now. So, if we just scrape off a little bit of the icing, then we have ourselves a lady finger. <laughs> okay, so I just scraped off, I don't know, can you guys see that? I just scraped off all of the icing on this bad boy. All right, and I could probably cut that in half. Okay, so now her lady fingers were like around the edges. Oh my God, Megan, you're amazing. Look at that. Look at that, that's innovation right there. Okay, so we're just gonna do that all the way around. That is innovation right there. We work smarter, not harder in this house, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So for my birthday, Rowan made me a delicious chocolate praline cake on top of a white cake. That was so good because there's like nuts in it. We did a, oh, oh, drop it on the ground. We did a Gatsby themed murder mystery night, which was really, really fun. And everyone got dressed up in really cute outfits. It was adorable. It was really, really fun. And guess who the murderer was? It was Tyler. It's always Tyler, rule number one in murder mystery nights. I think I need to like cut around. Do you see how tall it is? Like there's no room to show off the beef. So I'm gonna have to cut off just like the top layer of all of these. We're just gonna gently press. We're already on the road to success. Okay, next we have to add in the jam. Now we've got a little bit of, oh, Western family, delicious. Now there's not too much left. People in my house are jam fiends, so I don't want to finish it because people will come for me. But we're just gonna add a little, a little jam there. Why do I feel like this is gonna? I have a feeling that this is actually gonna be delicious, even with the beef and peas, because it really. I'm all for the savory and the sweet. Like that's my favorite combination, right? Like sausages or bacon and maple syrup, right? Like that stuff is the good good. I love savory and sweet so why would beef not be delicious with a little bit of custard and jam joey was right like i'm on joey it's gonna be delicious now the one thing we are actually gonna have to like make from scratch is the custard i found a recipe for like a vegan custard but i'm nervous because obviously we don't we're not gonna need that much custard but it's all like two thirds a cup or like one third a cup and those are really hard to like mm, cut in half I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is a brand new stove. We've been waiting for this 
Farah cannot tell you how long I have been cooking everything that we eat. Seven people in a mini toaster oven. This part of our oven was broken. Not the stove top, we could still use the stove top, but like this part, so that's why I had to cook in the toaster oven, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, anything crazy. Like, look how pretty! Yeah, it's very exciting. So, it's also slightly terrifying though, because this stove top is like, back in the day they used to be like indestructible, like they were like anti-scratch resistant, and for some reason they no longer make stoves like that, so like it's very scratchable like even with a grain of salt you guys know how i cook and i'm very terrified to use it so we're gonna combine two cups of milk half a cup of cornstarch third a cup of sugar teaspoon of vanilla dash of turmeric oh my god that was more than a dash and whisk it on low until it all comes together Oh my god, I'm so close to the camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna start sauteing up some of these onions. They were frozen. Because I just needed a little bit. I didn't want to cut up a whole onion. I have these leftover tofu like meat crumbles that I made. Homemade. So I'm gonna this is gonna be the beef. And then I have a can of peas. I'm strongly debating if it's worth it to open a whole can of peas. But I mean, I'll use them for something else because I feel like we need the authenticity here. So the custard looks a little more like mustard because of all the turmeric that I put in it. It tastes really good, but I mean, look at this. It looks so yellow. It was an accident. We're here for the flavor, so we won't judge. A couple of spoonfuls. It looks so much like mustard. Just beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fingers crossed as we add in the beef and the peas. Okay, so there's the beautiful <laughs> beef, onions, and peas. And we just need to add one more layer of mustard, I mean custard. Like how I said, I wasn't gonna make a big one, but this still actually honestly feels so huge. It's hard to, I'm sad the layering's not as good on the outside, but then we're gonna add cream. And last but not least, slices of banana. I regret this. I feel like I regret it. <gasps> oh, I regret all the decisions that led me to this right here you know how i was already not feeling the banana this is a very ripe banana Ta -da! now i feel like the beef and the <laughs> custard are still kind of warm so i feel like i want to chill it before i eat it i think like the temperatures are going to throw it off more than it already will be so i think i'm just going to chill it for maybe like 15 minutes or something and then we'll come back and we'll do the final taste test. All right, the moment is here. So we let it chill a little bit. We got Tyler here. I'm here. Ready to taste test it. So do you know what this is? No. Do you not remember the episode or no. you haven't seen it? I haven't seen Tyler it. Tyler hasn't seen Friends all the way through. I know, it's a crime. It is a crime. So, so she put meat in there? Yeah, so we got lady fingers, strawberry jam, a layer of custard, which is Ooh. just like sweet. No, no, it's not bad. A layer of custard. And then beef sauteed with onions and peas, another layer of custard. And it's good? Whipped cream. No, basically, she's so proud of herself, and then no one has the heart to tell her that she made it wrong. Exactly. I so think I've everyone, seen that. Like, pretends to eat it and like is running away. But Joey loves it. But Joey's like, yeah. it's not bad. It's I've, not bad. I've seen that one. Yeah, I might not actually want to do this. You didn't know what you're getting into? Yeah, I thought it was some yummy, delicious treat. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It looks like mustard. It's okay, that's the custard. And it's just, it's just yellow. It doesn't, it's not mustard. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's not actually that bad. I think maybe with real meat, it would be really bad. Yeah. But this is tofu meat, so maybe that makes it less bad. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Enjoy it. Wow, you're Joey. Yeah, and you're, I don't know. Everyone who's... else. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I hate it? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. Okay, my mom doesn't want to be on video, but she's gonna give it a try. Okay, go ahead. What's the yellow? I told you, it's the custard. I used to look like turmeric. Because I put turmeric in it for color, but I accidentally put too much. 
it doesn't taste like it. Oh just gosh, don't think yeah. about it. Just have it. Mm, fun. Mm. Are you gonna go take it out to the the balcony? It's not that bad though, is it? I mean it's kind of that savory sweet thing, you know, going on. Sure. <laughs> so what would you give it out of ten? Well, I mean I wouldn't make it like a social engagement. Yeah, but you finished. You finished almost the whole plate. Mm. What would you give it? Like a seven? Uh, sure. Yeah, it's not so bad, eh? No.